Breaking in the last few minutes, NASA just announced it will try again this Saturday to launch its most powerful rocket. We want to check back in with News 6's James Barvero. He is live at Kennedy Space Center tonight with the update for us. James? Well, Labor Day weekend, Matt and Lisa, just got much busier here on the Space Coast. How many people who are here on Monday will stick around until Saturday now? Now, this was a little bit of a surprise from NASA because previously, about a month ago, when they first announced the initial launch attempt date of yesterday, they said the backup windows would be Friday, September the 2nd, or Monday, September the 5th, Labor Day. So to hear now that they are going with a Saturday time frame, and with talking to our partners at CBS News, they tell us that window would open at 2.17 in the afternoon. We expect it would be a two-hour launch window, just like all the other launch windows. NASA going ahead with this Saturday, so clearly, They've made the decision, the Artemis I mission manager, Mike Serafin, on the call right now, saying that the engineers and the operational teams, they met this afternoon starting at 3 o'clock, and they agreed on their first option. They are agreeing to start the engine chill down earlier. You remember that was one of the issues that caused this launch to be a scrub. The cooling fluid could not properly get to one of those RS-25 engines of the space launch system, and therefore the engine could not be chilled down properly. And that's imperative before a launch because without that cooling fluid, the rocket launches at such a high temperature, the engines would in fact melt. So that explains that process. They also say they have some work to do at the pad itself related to those pesky hydrogen leaks that kept popping up. But the big news here is that they feel they do not have to move the SLS back to the vehicle assembly building to address its issues. They think they can fix these issues and press forward in just the next couple of days. So if they're going ahead now, again breaking, NASA deciding to try again to launch its most powerful rocket ever on its test flight to the moon, 2.17 in the afternoon on Saturday. Make your plans now if you're here on the Space Coast. It's going to be a busy Labor Day weekend, Matt and Lisa. All right, James Barvero with the update for us from Kennedy Space Center tonight. Thank you. Now, we are streaming NASA's briefing for you right now at ClickOrlando.com. It's also where you can find in-depth coverage of the Artemis mission. Just search for the stories right on the homepage.